Uh, good morning, everyone. Yeah. The meeting uh, is going to start. Yeah. Good morning. I'm Council Member Peter Ku, and I'm pleased to chair the Committee on Parks and Recreation. And we are here joined by Council Members Adams, Moyer, Jonai, Van Bremer, Vivera, and Council Member Cohen. Today, the committee will be voting on a pre-considered bill that will ceremonially co-name 86 thoroughfares and public places throughout the city. This is our semi-annual bill where we seek to honor the individuals and the organizations that have made lasting contributions to the people of our city. Some of these include co-names for active community members, he heroic New Yorkers who sacrificed their lives for others, people who committed their lives to public services, or those who greatly, or those who greatly enriched the city uh, cultural landscape. I'm proud to support this bill, and I urge my colleagues on the committee to vote in favor of this legislation. Uh, thank you. So before uh, we vote, any members want to make any comments or statements? Seeing none, uh, any public want to make any comments or statements? Seeing none, oh, you do? Just one minute, right? Uh, state your name and yeah. Um, um, I just wanted to make sure that the um, council is aware that one of the co namings was voted against by the community board one. This is for the corner of West Broadway and Lisbonard Street. And I just wanted to read something that I felt. Uh, um, can, can you state your name first? Alice Blank. Okay. From, and I'm a member of community board one. And um, I just wanted to make a statement. Um, we're very much, of course, um, aware that street co-naming happens all over the city. I know Board 1 is, has its bylaws that make it quite clear that they're not very much in favor of co-naming because given the number of streets, the difficulty of getting to these streets, the history of these streets, the density of these streets, and the extraordinary amount of uh, folk who um, uh, merit honors, of course, for all of the tremendous amount of tragedy that Community Board is one has seen. So I just wanted to note this particular street and just, um, I state, we all appreciate the vitally important role of the police in our community and the fallen officer, Sergeant McNaughton, whose life was tragically lost in the valor valorous service in Iraq. But when a community board votes against co-naming a street, it must have an important reason for doing so, and its members do not expect that their views will be disregarded without directly engaging them, without sharing any reasoning, and without confronting the community's reasoning. The small act raises large questions about the integrity of our community board process. The council should be urged to consider allowing the community and the community board that represents them to have an opportunity to further discuss and consider these street co-namings. Uh, the, the community board was not made aware that the street co-naming was going through um, without any consideration. In other words, we as members did not know this was going through. Um, we also want to add that Sergeant McNaughton, um, and I'm speaking on behalf of myself, certainly not Community Board One, Sergeant McNaughton has been honored with a bronze plaque in the Canal Street subway with his name entered on the police memorial in the Battery and honored with namings in several areas in hometowns in Long Island. Community Board One has had immense loss and many hearers who merit recognition from the loss of 9-11, the recent terror acts in Hudson River Park, to the many fallen heroes in their line of duty. The community rightly must be very careful to be fair to all those worthy of honor. Thank you. Any more members of the public want to make a statement? No? Seeing none? Uh, if the current, uh, can you call the vote? William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote, committee on parks and recreation. Council member Ku. I vote yes. Cohen. Permission to explain my vote for 10 seconds? Yeah, please, yeah. I just want to say we're uh, voting on uh, William Scribner Way, and I knew Bill personally. He was an incredibly talented individual. I vividly remember taking my daughter to see uh, him conduct uh, Peter and the Wolf concert at the uh, New York Botanical Garden. 
Uh, he will be sorely missed, and I'm really very proud that we're able to do this today. And with that, I vote aye. Thank you. King. Aye. Van Bramer. Permission to briefly explain my vote. Yes, please. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I just wanted to also um, mention and call the names of Frank Corrado and Ethel Plemac. Frank Corrado uh, was uh, unofficially the mayor of Long Island City and uh, a Korean War veteran and someone who I knew very well and who everyone loved, and uh, he died very recently. Uh, we all miss him already, and I know he would absolutely love this honor. And Ethel Plemac um, died at 108 years of age. Uh, she happened to live on my block, and uh, she was an early pioneer, uh, working until she was 96 years old. Uh, and when she left uh, her employment, uh, she sued her employer for age discrimination uh, because uh, she still wanted to work. Uh, she was an amazing woman, uh, a legend in Sunnyside, uh, and she also happened to be the mother of a, a very, very a famous artist and the grandmother of an Academy Award winner, Ethel Plemac, uh, is a legend, and it'll be thrilling to name, uh, co-name uh, my very street after Ethel Plemac. So with that, I vote aye and all. Thank you very much. Joan Aye. Aye and all. Moya. Aye. Rivera. Aye. Adams. Permission to explain my vote? Please, yeah. yeah. I am really, really pleased today to have the inclusion of this package of street co-namings uh, in the memory of Herbert Lewis Huntley Sr., who was a stellar hero in the Jamaica area. And uh, I'm very, very proud of his service to his community. Among many other things, he happened to be the very first African-American manager of Dan Supreme Supermarket in Jamaica. He was a stalwart example uh, of a role model for Jamaica, Queens, and I proudly vote aye on all. Thank you. By a vote of eight in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions, item has been adopted by the committee. We will hold the vote for five more minutes uh, in case uh, the council members show up to vote. 